I, like I said, man, we we can be here all day. Yeah, I got you know it's 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 a lot of shit that like you know we didn't know we was the first to do it. You Talk know about the the, the Kappa too, because y'all were doing it before the Kappa tapes. Because mm-hmm. Kappa is that's yeah. that's Houston culture, Texas culture, but. When you try to make a tape dedicated to that, you know what I'm saying, and then going down. Them kind, and them type that. of things that help, you know, break the bonds too, you know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, like, shit, nigga, get to that capital, nigga. We selling tapes to everybody from all over. Everybody's coming from everywhere. Yeah. And yeah. shit, even, like, nigga, that was when video cameras first came out too, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, like, just do it, nigga. I used to just stop a motherfucker. Motherfucker got a video camera. I used to just stop a motherfucker. Cause a lot of people didn't have video cameras, so yeah. when you seen somebody with a video camera, you know they didn't pay bank for a nigga like these nigga. I used to stop a nigga. Hey nigga, where you from? Or, hey baby, where you from? Let me talk on your camera. Of course, nigga, I'll let you talk. Then, nigga, mm-hmm. hell yeah, nigga, you want to talk my camera? Hell yeah, <laughs> nigga, I always, nigga, hey nigga, this nigga switch high, nigga, y'all gonna see that shit one day again. Yeah. Every time, nigga, I just just stop a nigga at the camera. Nigga, let me talk on that camera. Nigga. Hey, whoever got some of that footage, man. Y'all yeah, word up, man. I need to see some of that. I'm telling you, some nigga got. I was like, nigga, you know what? Ron, see on my shit. I got that nigga. <laughs> I sure do got that nigga. I'm finna go back to my camera. Niggas right now going back to that. Nigga, I'm finna, nigga. I just ran across that shit in my store, nigga. Capital tapes, nigga. Nigga, finna, nigga, finna on eBay right now trying to find a video camera. <laughs> I ain't got the video camera though. <laughs> <laughs> nigga gonna find nigga. I done made somebody come up right now. Yeah, yeah, eBay yeah. nigga need to thank me right. Send <laughs> <laughs> a nigga ten percent. Yeah, you know but now nah, so okay, talk about uh, cause I mean shit, it came a point to where like when the when the switch hours went from like some freestyle shit to like a label. Like, I talk about like that transition. Yeah, that transition, you know, um, actually that that happened like in '99 when we decided because <clears throat> I, I personally just was was watching the screwed up click get picked apart meaning that like dj screw didn't have you know like DJ he didn't keep Sc- everybody under one umbrella right uh, yeah. dj screw never had a label you know what i'm saying like that like he didn't never just a click label. just yeah, what it was screwed up click, you right know what I'm saying? so i watch jam down come get kiki i watch Rick Shop get you know fat pat ESG, fat pat right. ESG you know what i'm saying big mo and all you know what i'm saying so just watching them all get picked apart, I was just like, man, now nah, watch, we got, to, you know what I'm saying, we got to do something before, you know what I'm saying, we got to drop an album, because they never dropped the whole album with everybody on it, you know what I'm saying? It's like, so, we, even when the DEA album came out, that was just, you know, you know what that was, so, yeah. <clears throat> I was like, man, we got to, we got to do something, man, to keep all our niggas here, drop this app, you know what I'm saying? So, shit, man, I got all them niggas, niggas together. And I was like, man, shit, I don't know if we're going to be able to drop this album. Because now people want the album. People want, you know, because we freestyling off of people's beats. Now people want album. So we had to start catering to that. And um, once we did that, it was like, I mean, I had to call them niggas in, all them niggas. Because now, you know, everybody kind of understanding that, oh, okay, I'm becoming somebody, you know. And, you know, everybody kind of got a little, you know, whatever about themselves. Yeah. So man, I had to get all them niggas together, man. What the damn they basically had to trick their ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, look, y'all niggas sign this this here for one year. You know what I'm saying? So we can go and get this switch off album done. Man, everybody signed that shit except two niggas. Who ain't signed? Paul and Cam? <laughs> nah, he was close. He was half, right? That nigga come in there like shit, fuck that, I'm taking this shit to my lawyer. That nigga come in there, that nigga slip through. The mm. niggas not sign that shit right there, but they eventually signed so we could, you know, yeah. do a little project. Well, nigga, like hell no, nah. all them other niggas they signed that shit right there. <laughs> 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 so, but that you know that that that's was when you know, and at the time we ain't know nothing about running no label. Me all Watts, you know, we young, we don't know shit. All we know, is nigga, how to move these motherfucking tapes, nigga. Press these hoes up, go stay, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We know how to yeah, make exactly. a nigga sell So when y'all did the label, that's when y'all start going through Southwest Wholesale and everything, right? Yeah, so that's when we start going through Southwest Wholesale. And because we didn't know the game and them white folks knew the game, you know what I'm saying, they wasn't really keeping it 100 with us. They wasn't really telling us, you know what I'm saying, that, hey, nigga, you need to get Holly Grove some of this money, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, nigga, you technically supposed to get Holly Grove X amount of dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody didn't break it down to us like that. Like, we knew to break bread, but we thinking, okay, break, you know. And I'm, and really, to be honest with you, I'm really speaking 
a part that I really don't even, you know what I'm saying? Because at the time, I wasn't over that. Remember, I was the president of Swish House. I was only a 10% owner myself. So I wasn't the one getting the checks from Southwest Wholesale. I wasn't the one doing conducting the business with Southwest Wholesale. Right. I had a lot of money because I was, you know, actually, you know, doing the parties. I was actually still, you know, doing. Uh, you was active on the music side. Yeah, I was still active. I was out there doing. I'm the first nigga to start saying, put the tapes in stores. I did that. Nobody shit wasn't in the stores. Like, why was selling the shit out the flea market? I'm the first nigga found the first store, selected sounds. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm the first nigga to put the, 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 the CDs in the store, the tapes in the stores. So that became my hustle. It was just, you know. The, that was your division of everything. Right. right, right that right, became right. my hustle. So when, at that time, Watts was getting money from doing parties. He was getting money from being a radio DJ, you know what I'm saying? And his mixtapes, too, on his side. Right. But I'm the one, because Watts had probably... He was selling his tapes out of Bay City. It was a flea market in Bay City. And then he was, so I said, you know, maybe one or two little spots he was selling out. But when I came in, shit, I had came from East Texas. I knew a homeboy up there who had a record store. So that's where the first tapes went outside of Houston. Okay. Bay City and East Texas. Those were the first two places that had tapes. So shit, I just started, man, getting on them lines calling all these stores i had made my own list nigga i'm the one had that list. that was my list that was circling around for everybody i made that list because i was calling every fucking store dude every store i called them everybody know me i called every store personally and i know hey nigga i ain't know nothing about having a nigga do it for me then i did it nigga call every store hey nigga y'all heard about these tapes nigga let's put them nigga if you ain't let me send you some they gonna sell because even if you didn't know about a nigga, I'm going to say, hey, nigga, I got the tapes over there. Nigga, Donnie Houston probably don't even know nothing about it yet. I know Donnie Houston got a store. I'm going to tell motherfuckers, hey, nigga, go into Donnie Houston, get the store. Nigga going to be going to your shit like, nigga, what is that? I don't know what that shit is. Like, nigga said, come get it from over here. How nigga going to tell you come get something? I ain't got it. Nah, nigga, I did that. that demand, yeah. nigga, I so you the, built up a demand. Exactly. <laughs> Even in LA, my partner used to have D D Visions records and tapes on Crenshaw. You can go back and listen to all them tapes. And I, for years, for five years, I shouted out Visions tapes. Vision, go to Vision, Vision. I know niggas wasn't even in LA even starting to listen to no damn chopping screw music yet. Every day, every time, every tape, I was just making us seem larger than what we were. Danny Houston. Danny Houston. Danny Houston. Danny Houston. Danny Houston.